Well, earlier this week, two people died after falling through the ice in Upper Red Lake while ice fishing. A deadly reminder that ice in the winter is never 100% safe, and particularly right now while it is still forming its initial thickness. A Josh Peterson takes a closer look. With ice forming on many aerial lakes, ice anglers have got the itch to go out and catch some fish. However, with early ice conditions changing daily, venturing out on the ice can be deadly. People need to really be aware and beware when they go out on the ice. Um, it's, it's really important that you have the proper equipment with you when you go out um, and be ready uh, to go through the ice. Across the region, looks can be extremely deceiving on many aerial lakes. Where the lake appears to be frozen, it's really not. And it's always best to check ahead before you venture out onto the lake. At Destination Sporting Goods, anglers have been coming in over the past week for supplies and bait. But with every customer anxious to go out on the lake, employees have been sharing a word of caution. We try to keep everybody informed as quick as we can and with the best information I can receive. It is early ice in northern Minnesota. It's not always the safest thing. Ice fishing is never safe. What may be encouraging anglers to get a jump start on the fishing season is the growing popularity and technology with ice fishing equipment. However, patience is strongly advised. It's so popular now that we need to still root back to the number one thing, and that's ice safety, early ice conditions. These are the things guys need to root back to and look into. With the extreme weather conditions, law enforcement encourages to use common sense and to check with the professionals when it comes to ice conditions. The best thing that people can do is to pay attention to the guides and the resort owners up there because those people truly know what the ice conditions are. In Bemidji, Josh Peterson, Lakeland News. And for the latest ice conditions in the Bemidji area, you can call the Destination Sporting Goods Fishing Hotline at 218-444-PIKE. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.